What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are gonna actually be checking out something incredible. Okay guys, we're gonna be checking out something that people have been wanting in the game for absolutely ages. Guys, I have seen this be requested more times than five. Okay, I'm, I'm actually being serious guys. We're checking out something incredible today. And guys, I wanna give a massive shout out to my friend Asil Block for actually helping us out and doing this guys. We are gonna be checking out pressure plate. Okay, we are going to be opening up a door with weights. Okay, we are going to become super Fed, and we are gonna pressure plate something to open up. So guys, as you can see right here, we're here with the seal blocks. Hello, a seal blocks. And we are back in a level that we actually checked out in the past, guys, in a previous video. Guys. We checked out this level of his. That was like um, an escape room. People said it looked a little bit like human fall flat. So I guess he opened a little bit human fall flat like. I don't know. <laughs> and guys, as you can see right here, we are prevented or presented pressure plate, door, and a crate. And well, I mean, we can all do a little bit of math in our head and we can figure out that we need to push the crate onto the pressure plate to open up the door. So guys, if I push this thing on here right now, as you can see right here, the door will open up, which is crazy. I've never seen anything like that before in build -about. But I mean, he didn't just do it once. He did it many, 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 many times, which is actually kind of sick. So uh, he has this other thing right here where you can push over the ladder. I mean, this is pretty simple. This mechanic is just a spring with a little, 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 little platform. It's not that complicated. Because as you can see here, once again, we have a pressure plate, which if we drop a block onto the pressure plate, it will open up door that is right here. I didn't put it on right. Otherwise it would have fully opened up. But guys, today I'm actually going to be showing you guys i broke it all i <laughs> Okay, you're gonna have to reload. I was gonna be all like excited and everything. Be like, okay, guys, here it is. I, I, I broke, I broke it all. Broke it all. I broke it all. I broke it all. <laughs> all right. So let me actually, instead of breaking it all, let me just make this all invisible and like can't collide. Then it should. Yeah. Okay. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. <laughs> so guys, as you can see right here, we have some very interesting mechanic, guys. It uses a lot of spring. Okay. And not only just that, hinges. <laughs> but I'm, I'm making it sound super exciting, guys. This is actually such an interesting mechanic. And as you guys can see right here, it looks extremely complicated. But once you break it down, it is really not all that terribly hard to build. So guys, I highly recommend sticking to the end of this one if you want to know how to build something like this yourself in the future. I mean, I can highly recommend watching this because there's a lot of cool things that you can build with it. Let me just tell you that, okay? So guys, if we would have to show this off from above, if I start placing some blocks on here, as you guys can see, some things start moving around a little bit and the door starts opening up. And guys, the way the door actually opens up is that when this block here gets pushed up, what happens is that these doors get, start pushing further away from each other, which are connected to the actual door, which opens up the door. And guys, I mean, like I said, it looks extremely complicated, but it really is not as bad as you might think it is, okay? It is decently difficult, but it's not hell. I like how I used this area to show off, yet he made this beautiful showcase area for me, which I completely ignored. <laughs> Well, apparently it's just finished loading. <laughs> All right, let's actually go to the showcase area right here, which uh, might be a bit more appropriate for oh appropriate for showing up, showcasing how to build it. So one of the most interesting parts of this all is how you can actually gradually open up a door and how there's literally no limit to how like advanced and crazy you can make your doors. Like there's really no limit. And you can also close it again. So it's like a, an opening and closing door. Pretty nice. And I'm not actually entirely sure about this here. Let me see right real quick. So there's this glitch that is actually by Snoopingas and it's uh, apparently this like strong man or like heavy boy glitch. Uh, I wonder if that will work here. So what, like four block? All right, let's see. All right, it's not, doesn't seem to be working. Right, what if I go like this? Oh, I can open it up. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I can open it up with my body. <laughs> I mean, of course I could make this all invisible. Um, I just haven't. Here, boom, look. Sesame. Uh, open sesame. And close. And close. It didn't close. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm actually going to show you guys how you can actually build yourself one of these. And I would actually highly recommend watching this because, uh, I mean, I've said this like three times right now. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but there are some really interesting mechanics mechanics right here at play that you could totally incorporate into your own build okay like any kind of build to be honest so guys let's get her going man all right guys so off to the tutorial guys how are we going to actually build this guys i've actually built myself a little bit of a platform in the sky to actually start building this on but guys i want you to know that you can also build this on the ground floor level but i will explain how to do that later because it's gonna make everything a little bit more complicated and you should probably first understand how to build it up here before we're gonna start building under the world so guys what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna have to figure out where we actually want our door to be um this is important because if we don't know where our door is gonna go, well, we don't know where our door is gonna go. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna actually build my door right over here, guys. And I recommend building almost everything for the actual mechanics of the door using plastic because it's the lightest block in the game. If you don't have plastic, you should use wood um, because it's like the second lightest block in the game, guys. But what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna build the actual door. And the way we're gonna do that is we're pretty much gonna just grab the actual uh, thing right here. And we're gonna just pretty much make it a little bit thinner. And then also, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over one block in the middle. Uh, so that way, pretty much it's not gonna touch the next block that we're 
going to place, which is going to go right here. We want to make sure that these blocks aren't touching. Otherwise, there's nothing to go, like, be opened up, right? And guys, what I do is also pull back one block over towards the other side again. So that way, all the lengths are correct. Guys, what I'm going to do in the next step is I'm going to just decide the actual size of my door. So I'm going to go like three blocks on each side, something like this. I think this should look good. Actually, you know what? I want it to be a bit thinner because I think this looks kind of ugly. So I'm going to just make them thin, like a little bit thinner. Boom. That looks nice. That looks good. And let me make these like, like decently tall. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so guys, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving our build towards underneath of the ground, guys. Uh, we are going to have to start building the poles that are going to accept the, what do you call it? Like accept the, like uh, we're, we're going to pretty much make the things that connect the underground build to the over, like above ground build. Oh my God, I can't even speak English today. This is so bad. <laughs> guys, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to add a little bit of a pole down here, just like so. I'm going to do this on both sides. I'm actually, the way I put them inside of each other, I just, you know, scale it inside of the other block and that should work just fine. And to make sure that I actually have both of these poles the exact same length, it's actually a very useful other trick, guys. What you can do is you can set your skill tool to two and pretty much just scale everything back all the way to the top and then start, start scaling down again. And then we actually have the right, the, the right size, no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter if you're working with skill zero, like you can always get to the right size doing that. Then guys, once we've put this right here, we're actually going to figure out where we are going to put our pressure plates. So guys, I'm actually going to put my pressure plate a, a little bit ways off into the distance. I'm going to put it way over here. And the reason I'm going to put it a little bit of an awkward spot, so guys, then you I mean you can learn yourself how to actually put it anywhere in the world, okay? So the way I'm actually going to build my pressure plate, pretty simple. Uh, first off, I'm actually going to get rid of some of the floor right there because, I mean, obviously we can't have a floor where we're building. And then I'm going to actually make it flush with the floor and make it like nice and big. Boom. So this right here, guys, is going to be our pressure plate. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do right here is we're actually going to grab ourselves a spring. So we're going to place a spring right in the center like this, facing downwards, as you can see right here. And guys, then what I'm going to do next up actually is I'm going to go back over to the door and I'm going to actually place myself a little bit of a building brick. So let's say th this right here, all of this stuff right here, this is actually the door itself. So let me paint this nice and gray. And then let me actually create a little bit of a sub hole right here. That is going to be for the actual door mechanic. Guys, as you can see right here, I've created a little bit of a very small L shape with the actual door connected to it. And then guys, what I'm going to do next up, I'm actually going to have to do it on, on the other side as well, because I forgot. <laughs> so the way we're going to do the scaling right here is actually very simple, guys. As you can see, I just placed the block right there. Uh, we got, we want to just scale it down using 0 0.5 and then scale it in two times. And then we're going to have to place a block right there. Uh, do the same thing. Scale it down one, scale it down one. And then there you go. There's the nice little L shape. I uh, accidentally built it there. <laughs> it needs to be right there. Uh, you don't want to do it the same on both sides. All right. So guys, here is actually where we're going to have to make a pretty interesting decision, guys. If you're building a door that is rather large, you actually want to make a slight change in your design. Because as you can see right here, I've placed... So guys, what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to place pistons right... Or not pistons, what am I saying? Uh, springs right here, uh, facing outwards from this little pole right here, facing horizontal. And we're going to do this on both sides, of course. But guys, where the decision comes in is actually the size of your door, guys. If the size of your door is, uh, what do you call it? Like larger than the actual extension of a, uh, what do you call these things? Spring, you want to actually use two springs. So I think in my case, I think I'm good with a single spring. But if you're working with a door that's, let's say, just hypothetically, right? Like this big, uh, you want to keep adding springs right here uh, until you have reached that distance, so to say. And then just noteworthy is, guys, if you use five springs right here, you also want to add more springs down here. So let's say I use five springs there. I want to keep adding springs springs just like that. Uh, otherwise, it will not work. But if you do that, everything should be good. So guys, next up, I'm actually going to add uh, a block on here on the end. And I'm actually going to connect this to the actual floor right here. So that way, uh, there's no way everything's going to fall apart, you know? <laughs> so yeah, we want to we wanna just connect these all to a anchored piece or an anchored ground, so to say. And we want to do the same for the piston right here. Or the... Why am I saying, why am I saying piston? It's a spring. <laughs> uh, same for the spring right there. So then, guys, next up, I'm going to actually start working on the pressure plate itself. So the way we're going to do the pressure plate is actually quite simple. So guys, I'm, let me paint this again as well. Well, let me place a block right here, just like so. And we want to make sure that it's actually not touching the spring. So guys, if we use uh, skill 0.5, we should be easily able to connect or our, create ourselves a little bit of a piece right here that is going to act as our button. And we want to scale this down a little bit further, like pretty much the same height as the actual piston or uh, yeah, as the actual spring itself. It's not a piston, Jesse. Stop saying that. <laughs> then guys, next up, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add in. I'm actually going to make one block longer just to be safe. I just make it a little bit extra long. We're going to actually add ourselves in a servo right here, guys. There it's a hinge. I am saying all the wrong things. It's a hinge. We're going to place ourselves a hinge. And extremely important is that you make sure that this is actually anchored. If this is unanchored, you can actually run into some issues. And it's an absolute mess. Make sure that you always build with hinges anchored. Okay? All right. Now that I got that out of my system. <laughs> Next up, we're going to move on to over here. And what we're actually going to do right here is we're going to add ourselves a little bit of a small block like this. 
place that is going to be three blocks long. One, one, two, three. But the way you know it's three blocks long, if you place a block next to it, it's like half a block out. Yeah. So like, uh, like Asil says right here, if you, if you don't anchor a hinge and you save it and reload, the next time you load it in, they will actually be broken. It's a very annoying bug. <laughs> so guys, once you've placed this little piece right here, what we're going to do next up, guys, we're actually going to grab ourselves a another bring. I'm trying to say the right word. Bang. The next up, guys, we're going to place another pla piece of plastic right there, right next to it. We're going to make sure that this is actually co connected to the center of the spring. And we're going to make sure that this uh, is also three studs long. So it's like that. Uh, as you can see, half a block sticking out. Then what we're going to do next up, guys, we're actually going to place a hinge right here in the center facing outwards. And then guess what we're going to do next up after that? We're going to place a block right next to it. And we're going to connect that to the actual ground. Let me make sure that there's actually ground to connect to. <laughs> then guys, all we have to do right here is we're actually going to have to add ourselves another spring like that. And then what we're going to do next up, guys, is actually very simple as well. And we're pretty much just going to place another plastic block just like this. That is once again, three studs long. <laughs> Dude, it's almost like we're seeing a pattern here. And then guys, all we're going to have to do right here is we're going to want to add a hinge in the mid uh, at the end facing outwards just like so. So guys, if I'm not mistaken, it should look like this. There's a hinge on this side. There's a hinge on this side. And there's also a hinge on this side. Obviously, if you were building a door on the other side, it would be the other way around. But you get the idea. So guys, once we've built this piece, I highly recommend saving everything because otherwise, you know, you're going to run into some issues later. You don't want to you don't want to run into that issue. You know, we all know what it's like to forget saving. <laughs> and then, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually start working again on our door. So, guys, right down here at the actual door that we've started building, let me actually make the floor slightly see through. So that way it's a little bit easier to see down here. Actually, yeah, perfect. OK, <laughs> we're going to actually place ourselves hinges facing outwards on each side, just like so. Then, guys, we're going to grab ourselves our actual build tool. And the way you can actually get all of these settings is obviously clicking plus. We're going to go into rotate 15. OK, then, guys, what we're going to do next up is we're going to go and place ourselves a plastic block. And we want to make sure that this is actually rotated to be 15 degrees facing downwards. So guys, if you would scale this uh, part longer, as you can see right there, it goes slightly crooked. So I'm just going to rotate uh, six times here. Rotate, 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 rotate. And then tilt one time here. And if you want to do the other side, you got to tilt five times. Boom. Then actually using skill two, we're going to actually figure out where these two parts meet. So guys, we want to drag these down. And you can also, you can also build this all without a skill tool. Of course, you're going to just have to start placing blocks. Well, actually, I don't think you can now that I say it, because you need to make these things small right here. <laughs> Oops, I'm a liar. So guys, we want to make sure that these actually start touching. There you go. <laughs> Touch. Yeah. My floor is a little bit too short. So let me make everything a little bit taller. And then guys, we're going to go back into our skill tool and use 0.5 to actually make this nice and thin. Boom. One block in, one block in, two blocks in this way. Or to go all the way in on that way. Nice. All the way in and one block in on each side. And as you can see right here, this looks beautiful. Then guys, next up, we're going to just place ourselves a pair of hinges right down here facing outwards just like so. And then guys, what we're actually going to do just to be extra safe is we're going to actually scale these plastic parts right here into the actual hinges, okay? This is just a little bit of a safety precaution. All right, so guys, next up, what we're going to do right here is we're actually going to make sure that we actually connect these two pieces together. So we're going to want to scale this all down uh, just like this, very nice and easy, actually. Make this one block thick. And we want to scale this over to the other side. And we want to get this uh, using skill zero. Oh my God, I never use skill zero in a tutorial, but using skill zero, we want to get this as close to the actual hinge itself. As you can see right there, that's pretty close. And that will do. So guys, we want to make sure that we scale it inwards to be like ex exactly as close to the middle as we can, uh, pretty much. Or middle, what am I saying? That is, is like the edge, okay? <laughs> and guys, next up, to finish your door off, all we are going to have to do is in the middle, place ourselves a hinge. And that is the actual door mechanic done. Wow! So we have to piss the mechanic done now. We have the door mechanic done. And now, guys, we only have to connect the two together, which is going to be the easiest part, okay? All we actually have to do to connect the two together is write something like this. All right, so guys, the, the last thing left is actually connecting everything, which is actually going to be pretty easy, uh, believe it or not. So pretty much the way we're actually going to connect these things together is very simple, guys. All we need to do is actually make sure that these two things are connected using, oh, uh, using 0 0.5 again, uh, using a plastic block, just like this. So pretty much all we're going to have to do is place a plastic block like that, and then we're going to place a plastic block on this one, and then we have to connect these two things together. So you just need to eyeball it. They just need to be connected, okay? We're not doing rocket science right here. It doesn't, need, doesn't need to be perfect. Boom. So guys, as you can see right here, these two blocks are overlapping, so they are definitely connected. But guys, there is one last final thing left that we have to do to finish this all off, okay? And that is one final piston. One final piston to finish this all off, guys. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to place ourselves a piston just like this. And then, guys, what we're going to actually grab is we're going to grab ourselves apparently specifically a concrete block. Uh, and we're going to place this unanchored. We're going to place this on top of there. And we're going to scale this to be half size. Uh, oh, wait, we might. Okay, we might want to place it anchored uh, and then make it half size and then actually make it unanchored. Boom. Right, the seal? Yes, sir. All right, guys. And then all we need to do is actually connect uh, the, the spring to the actual thing itself right here. So as you can see right here, if I connect these two things together, we should be all good. Boom. And that should be our entire door completed, guys. So what makes this all 
also interesting, guys, is if I would have to explain to you how this all works exactly, is that this piece right here gets pushed down by something heavy. And what happens is that the hinge right here actually turns, which makes this entire thing go upwards. And when this entire thing goes upwards, these two little rods right there, they start going outwards, which tilts the door to be, you know, outwards. So let me make the floor visible again. And uh, let's test it all out, boys. Let me save. Make sure you save. <laughs> and uh, let me actually connect this all to the wall. Because guys, if you didn't know, if you connect something to the wall, it can never break or like get an anchor or anything. Uh, actually, I got to connect the floor as well, guys. Uh, boom. So guys, now if I wanted to test it real quick, uh, let me save. <laughs> all I would have to do is just select all and unanchored. And I'm pretty sure the door is primed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got to delete these two blocks right here. Yeah, okay. If you delete those two blocks, everything is primed, guys. I placed two blocks that were connected the whole thing. They weren't supposed to be. But pretty much, guys, I think we are now all done then. So guys, if I go stand up here uh, on the actual floor level, if I get myself a heavy block and I place it on top of the actual thing right here, uh, I need a couple, I think, to actually open up the door. But guys, as you can see right here, the door will open up. Beautiful! And as you can see, everything worked perfectly. If I start deleting things, uh, I mean, it will start closing very gradually. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And guys, one thing to note that you can actually easily make yourself a block that is pushable, that is heavy enough by just uh, going like this. Uh, you place yourself a block and then you start just scaling blocks inside of an, uh, like an already existing block. So let's say I wanted to have one of those blocks that I can actually push. It's very easy to build, okay? You just build a block and you just keep scaling blocks inside of each other. It's very simple. So if I grab, for example, skill two and I place another block inside of here, boom. I place another block inside of here, place another block inside of here. I mean, you start getting the idea pretty quick. Because I have like six blocks inside of here right now. It's just an extremely heavy little block right here. And I don't have a good way of pushing it because it's too small right now. But uh, let me just place it on there. You can see that it works. Here, okay, let me quickly put this on here. And as you can see, how did it not work? Is it not heavy enough? I think I might have not made it heavy enough. <laughs> how many how many gold blocks do you need to put on here? Oh, and that was gone. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, pretty much we're going to have to mess a little, around a little bit with the weight to actually find the exact right right like weight. But it's pretty easy to find out. But guys, now for almost like one of the one of the most, if not the most interesting part of this all. And that is how you can actually build this all for yourself underneath of the floor, guys. As you can see right here, we made it in the sky, which I mean, not everyone wants to build in the sky, but don't actually have to, guys. So uh, to very simply explain it, guys, if you, for example, are doing a pressure plate, uh, all you would have to do to make it work for underneath of the floor use is grab yourself a very, very thin rod using plastic, pull it underneath of the world like this. Uh, and we're actually in this case going to need two rods uh, because this is the pressure plate, of course. Pull it underneath the world again. And then let's say I wanted to do the doors right here. I would just do the door. I'm making sure it's a little bit off the ground. I mean, you obviously cannot work exactly on the ground because things are going to get stuck. But yeah, let me just, for example, build this right here. Let's say this is my door. Then guys, what I do is I place another block just like we did earlier like that. And we're going to glitch it inside of each other. Just like so. Pull it underneath of the world and do that on both sides. And then make it nice and thin. And guys, to make this all come together and actually work is actually not that compl complicated or, or hard, to be honest. So guys, let's say I have my per pressure plate right here. I just place the actual pressure plate just like so. Like we did earlier. Boom. I have my doors right here. And actually, let me scale these parts down a little bit. Guys, all we have to do to make these work like we want them to is actually select all of these all of these different parts with our tool right here and then turn collision off. And to actually make sure that they actually work the way we want them to is we scale them up one block so that way they are updated. Oh, and the, those just all through the world because uh, they can now. <laughs> uh, here, let me actually uh, make these uh, two things unanchored as well. As you guys can see right here, uh, that way things will just work underneath of the world. And then you would obviously just create the same system as, system as we did before. The only difference being is that you would have to, you know, build it underneath of the world like this. Zip. And then we're going to build under here. <laughs> but I'm not going to do all that right now because that's a lot of effort. But guys, if you're a pro and you think you are up for the challenge, feel free to build it and actually tweet me a picture at jessetc underscore gaming. Guys, the first person to actually properly do it, send me a little bit of a phone video or whatever you like. You can record things with your phone. You just hit the record button, guys. First person, send me a video of it. I will retweet your tweet. I will like your tweet. I would thoroughly enjoy seeing someone actually build it. By the way, guys, actually make sure that you check out a seal blocks on YouTube. He's the legend that came up with this all, guys. He makes some dope videos all there, guys. Make sure you check him out. But guys, with that, we're gonna see you all in the next one, boys. I hope you all had a fun time with us today. I want to give a massive shout out to a seal block for building this all for me. And I will see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everybody. Subscribe to the channel and bye-bye. Dude, that was a beefy tutorial, man. And I oop.